Good to go? It is good to go. You love dancing in the rain. You never mind a cloudy day. You make the world a better place. Yeah, you love dancing in the rain. And just like that, we are back in South America, back in Colombia, as you may have deduced by that scenery, and if not the scenery, then probably the title of this video. And we are so stoked to be back. It is our first day in the van. Everything was surprisingly still there, including the van. And we picked it up from long-term storage in Bogota a couple of days ago, and we've been spending the last couple of days just getting things done, ready to, to set off. And now we're on the way south. And so if you have been following along with our journey, you'll know that we have driven from Canada down to Colombia so far. And we actually have already spent a couple of months in Colombia, but we just ducked back, back home to see friends and family. And now we are back. We are locked in at least for another year on the way down through South America. We have the most roughest of rough plans, which is essentially to head down the West Coast probably go to the beach a lot but also going to Bolivia partly relying on you guys to give us some good recommendations on the way down you know we all know about the about the big things like Machu Picchu and the Amazon but we really want the locals recommendations on the smaller things or if you've seen somewhere really cool we want to check that out but for now we are on the way south and Lee where are we heading right now we are driving 275 kilometers south of Bogota which is going to take us about six hours because of the windy mountainous roads to Tatakoa Desert. Oh, so we have woken up this morning to quite a pleasant surprise. Last night we drove all the way to the desert and we are right at the border and this morning we woke up to it raining which as I said, is a good surprise because we are already a bit wary about going through the desert today because obviously Oki has gone from freezing cold snow to warmer climate. In Bogota it was good, it was only about 15 degrees, so it was a good way to slowly acclimatise him. But now it was it's getting to be pretty hot here today, so we're going to move through pretty quickly and keep heading up elevation again back to a cooler town where we're hoping to also get him groomed. But yeah, this rain, it's cooled right off. It's not hot at all at the moment. Now, Lee is slowly waking up. Hello. Lee, Hi. how many hours have you slept? I only slept nine and a half. She only slept nine and a half hours, guys, but she just wants a little bit more of a sleep in. He's just enjoying his freedom again. Ock, come here, bud. Yeah. Good morning, buddy. Good morning. Hey. For anyone who's missed it, here's a quick shot of Lee doing chores. Apparently the key to our success. <laughs> now, I don't know if you guys can hear this, but look. At these guys. Yeah. Lee is hiding in the car and very freaked out. There is bats everywhere there. Oh my god. That is just a swarm of bats. Swarm's probably not the right word. I'm not sure what a flock of bats. Not getting out of the car? No. Uh, what are, they, are they mating up there? Or is this how they sit? I think they're just hanging just hanging out. Anyway, that's kind of gross. Time to leave? Yeah. Aki, what do you think?
we've been on this road for about 45 minutes now, and we're starting to question, is there really a desert out here? Hey, Ock, what do you think? It's looking pretty lush. It's so. looking pretty lush. Oh, the traffic here is terrible. <laughs> Good morning, donkey. Now that's a nice boulder. Have a good day, donkeys. See ya. Ciao. Oh, there's more vultures. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Do you love talking on the phone? Do you do things other people don't? You make sure no one feels alone. I love talking on the phone But we have cold apples. And we did intend to get to this hike area this morning and we realized we went the opposite way around this loop. Very unlike us. Very unlike us to be unprepared, isn't it? But so. in saying that, it's beautiful, it's a little hazy, but the best thing is because it's overcast, it's not even hot. Yeah. Which yeah, that's a huge. huge plus. So anyway, hopefully we'll find our oasis. We're not after an oasis, we're after a red desert. That's true. We are after a red desert. How I found you, God only knows. It must have shaped you from a dream. It made you so I wouldn't be alone. I'll be lifted on your wings. We finally made it to one of the most famous areas in the Tachikoa Desert, which is this Red Valley hike that we're on now. Tachikoa Desert is actually a dry tropical forest. However, over the years, it has even less rainfall than it used to have. So it looks like a desert and it's referred to as a desert here. This is a very popular place for astronomers because there's next to no light pollution in the sky because of the location. However, unfortunately for us, we got here late last night. It was overcast, we didn't see any stars. I honestly feel like I'm on a set of Star Wars at the moment. This feels very much like where they look found R2-D2 in the very first original Star Wars. I'm just waiting for those guys in the cloaks to come out with their uh, clubs. Ock. Keep your eyes peeled, buddy. I know you're out there somewhere. I think we better flee. It's time to leave. Princess Lee, ah, uh, R2, it's time to go. Back to the ship. There it is, safety. So after that hike, now that we have found the proper entrance and exit, it actually only took 10 minutes to get where it took us two and a half hours this morning, but it's about the journey. Okay. It's, all, it's all part of it, especially when you're unprepared like us. So now our next destination is heading south to a little colonial town called Papoyan. Yeah. That is another 300 or so kilometers south. It's going to take us another six plus hours. In this case, you may be wondering why we're traveling a little bit faster than normal. There's a good, a good reason for that. As most of you know, when we got into our accident in our last Columbia video, right before leaving to go back to Canada and Australia for a couple months to see family, we originally had planned to drive the van out of Columbia, hand over our visas, and park in no man's land right between Columbia and Ecuador at a safe storage parking. Plan, anyway. plan for me to drive the into there. Lee was going to Costa Rica. Yes, for her I, had work. A, I had an opportunity. Max has not worked. That was, that, there's no air quotes. That's real work. Um, anywho, Max was going to do that. But when we got in the accident, it had to go straight to the mechanics, and we already had our flights booked out. So Max had one week. 
therefore we couldn't we had to go to plan B which was to store the van in Bogota which meant that we overstayed our vehicle permit visa I guess not everybody's aware but when we're traveling with a vehicle Max and I get visas as well as our vehicle gets a visa in each country that we enter so we were fine with our visas but our van overstayed which means that at the moment we are technically illegally now overstayed in Colombia. Yeah, so we've decided to see the last bit of sites that we wanted to see in this in South of Colombia, which is actually has worked out well because we've checked off most of our bucket list before leaving Bogota. Yeah, the only thing that we're really disappointed that we're not getting to see is Caño Cristales, which is the meeting of these rivers and it's considered to be one of the most beautiful rivers in the world and it's because of all these vibrant colors that come out but what we didn't realize is you can only go to that national park between no July and November so unfortunately this time we're not gonna be able to go and Catalina I know you were hoping to see it unfortunately we're not gonna be able to take you along so you're gonna to have to show it to us and we are waiting because we'd love to see it. It's meant to be a quick two minute grab from the supermarket has turned into a big haul. Our first, our first shop yet though, so we had to stock up on some basics. And what are you whipping up at the moment? Our favorite sandwich, the Sanga. I was about to say, what's the real word for sandwich? The Sanga? Sanga, yeah. yeah. What sandwich in Spanish though? Uh, torta. Torta. See? Si? Mucho vegetale o verduras. Now that looks like a better stock fridge. You're the best. Back on the road? Yeah. Do this. I swear white shirts are not meant for van life. I could have told you that a long time ago, Max. Or for me anyway. What's the 411? Alright, well we're coming to that time of day where it's beautiful lighting, so we stopped to look at the view. But we're also trying to figure out where we're gonna camp for the night. So we're on Ireland,er We've showed you this before. So the blue dot is currently where we are. We're at this little mirador lookout of this lake. This gas station, for example, says that there is, you can tent, there's showers, it's, the restaurant closes, there's a restaurant. That sounds good to me. Showers look like they're over there. Banyos! Duchas, that's what duchas. we want. Duchas! For those that are not in the know, duchas is showers. Yeah, duchas means showers. Nice. So Lee has sprung it on me that since we stopped driving a little early and have already retired to a camp spot and we do have showers available, she's like, why don't we do a workout session? One of the things that we kind of promised ourselves coming back into the van this time is that we weren't going to make excuses as to why we couldn't have a routine because it is really hard when you're always on the moon. I was kind of just ready for a shower, dinner, and read a book, but look at Lee. All right, we're really doing it then. Yep. Get out here. And meanwhile, Oki gets to do his favorite pastime, which is pretend to be a cow. You know you wanna feel it You know you wanna see it Electricity gonna flow We pushing up the ceiling Tell me what you're dreaming Don't need no rules anymore Flying higher than the sky Alrighty, it's getting dark Let's see what these duches are really like so good so far. Has a locking door. Always good. Wonder what the pressure's like on this bad boy. So verdict, how was it? Amazing. Nothing like a free cold shower. I know it's only been two days, but you just appreciate showers so much. Yeah, I was a little bit chilly with the cold, but
dinner tonight, Chef? Tonight, I am doing Eamon and Beck's cauliflower tacos. It's a little smoky in here without the fan on. And the hardest part about making this is remembering where everything in, is in the van. I feel like after only a couple of months, yeah. I'm looking everywhere for stuff, but can't wait for these. These are always tasty. <laughs> I swear, I swear, <laughs> I swear this recipe is not designed for in the van. I don't know what I'm doing with this way, but the heat that comes off that. Oh God, they look delicious. Look at those. Yum. Mm. Alrighty, dig in. Thanks, chef. Verdict? Delicious. Mm. So we have a rule in this casa that if you cook you don't clean. So Lee is just finishing up with the <laughs> with the cleaning. So we are gonna wrap this vlog up. We just wanted to quickly update you guys. If some of you were wondering, because we did have some van repairs to get done when we got back, we went to the mechanic. It ended up being quite a simple fix, thank God. And it was just purely some humidity in the connector to the transmission. And touch wood, it's driving, what, 500 k's now? Yeah, over 500 kilometers. We no issues so far. Yep, yeah, no issues so far. It's driving like a dream. and. I'm starting to be more and more confident that we've got a van that is going to take us all the way down South America. So next week we're going to pick pick up right where we left off. We are heading to Popoyan or Popayan. We haven't figured out how to say it yet, but we'll let you know next week. Yep. We have two more destinations left in Colombia, and then we're heading on to Ecuador. We're really excited for a new country. Yep, and Popoyan mm -hmm. is rated in the top. 20 ta colonial towns in all of Latin America. So very pumped to see it and we'll see you guys next week. See you next Sunday. Bye.